Hi, my artists. Welcome back. I am so happy for all of my beautiful pictures and your artwork that you shared with me. We are going to do another great project today. So what we're going to do today is we are going to do a rhinoceros. And I'm going to share with you a little bit about this famous artist. His name was Albert Drurer. And this is a drawer rhinoceros. So I'm going to hold this up for you to see his artwork. And we're going to talk a little bit about Albert Drurer. So I hope you can all see this. Albert Drurer was a famous artist. And he was a German painter and also a printmaker during the Renaissance period. Drurer made this rhinoceros out of a wood cutting from a written description and a little sketch from another artist. Now why he is so famous is because he had never seen a rhinoceros in real life before. So he had to draw that just by what people told him a rhinoceros looked like. In fact, most of the Europeans at that time had never ever seen a rhinoceros before. Can you imagine, can you imagine trying to close your eyes and having somebody tell you and describe to you something that you had never seen before and you had to take a, make a picture of it and it came out so awesome like this one? So what we're going to do today is I want to make a pattern rhinoceros because I'm going to pull this a little close and I want you to see all the patterns in his different sections. Pretty cool, huh? So we're going to do this together. So I'm going to give you the directions again. The first thing that you're going to do is when you need to go get your things or I'm going too fast, you're just going to push pause. And then when you're ready, you can push play again. So here's what I need you to get. You're gonna get a piece of paper. You're gonna get either a crayon or a, a crepe oil pastel, something like that. If you don't have that, you can get a black marker and um, watercolors and some water if you want to add some color to it. So I'm gonna push, push pause. You're going to push pause. You're going to go get all your materials and come back and you can push play when you're ready. I'll see you soon. Okay. I hope you have all your materials. I think I have mine too. So I'm going to use a marker just so that you can see everything. And here's what our pattern rhinoceros is going to look like. Pretty cool, huh? So I am going to walk you through it step by step until it becomes the pattern time and then it's your turn to make your design however you want to. So here we go. What I would like you to do is start up at the top here and you are going to do two fingers at the top and we're going to make a dot and two fingers on the side and make a dot. That's going to be our rhinoceros face. So what we're going to do is I am going to start here and make a great big bowl smile way down and way up. Excellent. The next thing you're going to do is you are going to make a little smiley face, just a little one this time, down and up. Oh, I see the rhinoceros face starting. What we're going to do now is we're going to start here and I'm going to make one line going up. And I'm going to kind of do a curved line up and a curved line down. There's one ear. And I'm going to do a curved line up and a curved line down. There's his other ear. I'm going to stop this to pull me in a little bit closer so you can see. Okay, I hope that's a little better for you. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start way at the top of the head. I know it kind of looks a little funny that we're starting way up here. We're going to come way over and then I'm going to start to curve the back of my body down close to the bottom and I'm going to stop. Now we're going to make these legs and I'm going to start with two over, horizontal line, up, vertical line, over, horizontal line down, vertical line, 
over horizontal line. Notice how wide my legs are. You need to think about that rhinoceros and how heavy he is. His legs need to hold him up. I'm going to stop at the two back legs, and now I'm going to come maybe down here in the middle at the bottom, and I'm going to make a line down, and I'm going to try to make it about the same um, line as the back ones. Now let's make two front legs. Over, same size as this one. Up, vertical line. Over, horizontal line. Down, vertical line. Over and back up. Now we have that belly in the middle, so I'm just gonna close that up. Looking kinda cute. Are we ready? So I think we kinda did most of the hard part. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna curve that to the bottom of his nose. Now, here's the fun part. I like to do this horn here. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna go straight up, almost like a capital A, and back down. Excellent. We're going to come back over here and we're going to give him that cute little tail. We're going to come down and back up. I'm going to give him, you could give him any type of hair you want. I'm going to give him some cute little leaf, just like his ears on the top. You can decide how you want to do his cute little tail. Let's go back up to the front here. We're going to add that eye and color that in if you want. And then I'm going to make my sad face top, touch, and my happy face. I think I'll color my eye in a little bit more. Excellent. Now what I'm going to do is my rhino is happy. I'm going to give him a cute little smile. All right. The body of our rhinoceros is done. So now we get to break it up into shapes. So I want you to start on one of the top of these legs. And you're just going to draw a straight line to somewhere on the side of his body. And I'm going to start here, and I'm going to come up. You don't want to make it into too many shapes, because then you would have to make lots and lots of designs coming out of that. So maybe this one is coming over here. And this one's a really big section. So you can do this however you want. You can push pause and come back to me when you're done with that. I'll see you soon. How'd you do? I can't wait to see these online. Let's give our rhinoceros a couple of, I'm gonna give him three toenails on this leg, three toenails on this leg, three on this, and I bet you can't guess how many on the back leg. Three, of course. So what we're gonna do now is you get to design each section with a different pattern. We're talking about patterns a lot when we were in school. So maybe this one is gonna be a triangle pattern. Let's start adding some patterns or shapes. I could make two straight lines and a wiggle. Two straight lines and a wiggle. Maybe some of your shapes are going to be flowers. Maybe they're going to be curly cues. You show me. Maybe they're going to be hearts or circles or squares. You show me what you want to do. And I'm going to leave you with a thought. I am going to let you design your own patterns in each section. When you're done, you decide if you want to take some watercolor and design each section or color each section in a different color. Maybe you want to color in your shapes in with crayon and then you can watercolor it. I want to see how you finish this up on your own. So remember, when you're done and you want to share them with me, you can either share them to my email or you can show me a video and I would love to see your face with your artwork and also don't forget your first name and your last name and your teacher's name so I can make sure that I see and put down that you did this project. I'll see you next week and I hope you have fun with your rhinoceros. Bye everybody. Miss you tons.